Dr. Colleen Fogarty, the department chair for the University of Rochester Department of Family Medicine, is back with us. Doctor, good morning. Good morning, Mark. As you're well aware, more and more Americans are being vaccinated against COVID with each passing day. In fact, in New York here, the number is well over 3 million at this point. Genesis of the question here this morning is, what happens if you get that first dose of the vaccine, but then you're infected with COVID before you can get back for that second dose? Walk us through this. Sure, it's a great question, and it's happened to a number of folks that I take care of. So if someone has... Uh, COVID infection, if they have symptoms, the guidelines are the same as even if you're not between your vaccinations, is that you need to have 10 days after your last symptom and your last fever before you may go off isolation. And that includes going in for your vaccination. So in that case, you would need to postpone the vaccination. And even though the intervals are three weeks and four weeks respectively are ideal, postponing two weeks is not a problem. If someone finds that they're COVID infected and did not have symptoms, the guideline there says it has to be 10 days after the positive PCR test, which you may go off isolation and then may go in for your second vaccination. So it's really relatively straightforward, it's 10 days after the last symptom or in asymptomatic 10 days after the positive test and you'd go back for the second vaccination after that. The question that I think a lot of people have is if you find yourself in this situation, you've had the dose and then you've got to wait an extra amount of time in between before getting that second dose, does it in any way reduce the effectiveness of the vaccine once you've received that second dose? It is not thought to uh, affect the effectiveness. The intervals were studied in the initial population of patients that were the uh, trial subjects for the vaccine. And the it's really the minimum interval is three weeks and four weeks respectively. And like I said, waiting up until two weeks additional is not thought to affect the immunogenicity of that vaccination. All right. Well, we certainly hope it doesn't happen to people, but if they fall into this category, here's some pretty good advice about what it means and what type of action to take. Doctor, thank you, we appreciate it. Thank you, Mark. If you missed any of this, we'll share it online as well. You'll find it posted at rochesterfirst.com.